the first thing I, I saw this. I read this the other day and I, I could not believe what I had read. This was um, this article is from Sunday, but I, I, I found out. So before I even read this article, I just want to let everyone know the IRS, whatever you, you want to think about it, the new plan that Biden was putting out, he was going to hire some what was it? 80,000 new IRS agents. I don't remember exactly the number, um, an insane amount of new IRS agents trying to get out there and, you know, the tax man, make sure they're, they're getting their money. Uh, that's okay. That's, that's I've already what we read need flags. more of Adam in our society yeah. today is people collecting more taxes from the right. Mm. More, more taxes. Yay. All yeah, right. So check this out. Biden administration plan would have IRS monitoring Americans bank accounts. This is serious. They want to monitor your bank accounts, your transactions, the ins and outs of your money. This is crazy. Some Americans are furious, including me, with part of the $3.5 trillion spending plan from Joe Biden and the Democrats that would allow the IRS to monitor bank transactions. The administration claims the monitoring would prevent tax evasion and target audits but some are concerned that it would violate the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution, the Daily Mail reported. The proposal would require banks to report to gross inflows and outflows to the IRS, including transactions from Venmo, PayPal, crypto exchanges, and the like in an effort to fight tax evasion. The IRS would know how much money is in an individual's bank account in any given year or in a given year whether the individual earned income on that account and exactly how much was going in and out. Biden, um, Treasurer Secretary Janet Yellen, IRS Chief Charles Reddick, and a number of Democrats in the Senate, most especially Elizabeth Warren, are pushing for the deep dive into individual financial transactions as part of an $80 billion plan to enforce tax compliance. Uh, yeah, I, I have to stop reading for a second. And you know what? It this this conversation is going to go perfectly into the whole AOC tax the rich stuff because what happens when you tax the rich? What happens when you increase taxes on um, take California for example? Um, what what's been going on with California? All the businesses are leaving; they're going elsewhere. I mean, they're going to take take their tax money, pick up, and go somewhere else. Yep, that's why we're seeing Austin, Hello? Texas being called the next Silicon Valley because really? Google, because Tesla, because all of these big tech companies and all of these California companies huh. have since moved over to Texas because yep. it costs way less to run a business over here in this state than it would in California. Now, unfortunately, yep. all of those very liberal employees from California are following, you know, said businesses. And that's why Texas is turning so purple. But uh, mm -hmm. again, to your point, Businesses aren't just going to sit there and get taxed. So this whole tax the rich idea doesn't make any sense in reality. Right. Exactly. They're just going to leave. And, and there's no income tax in Texas, right? Mm, I thought, I, I thought, I don't you know. should know. Check. Don't should, you I, live in Texas? I do live in income taxes in Texas. <laughs> All right. She's going to live that. check that right now. I'm fairly certain. No, I thought no, we have no state income. Yeah, no state income tax. State income tax. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, federal mm -hmm. income tax. That's doesn't matter where you go. You can't. Yeah. Sca so it's like we, we do have a, a specific tax, but I'm not sure which one it is. So there we go. We clarified, guys. We clarified. Right. Well, I mean, it's this is this is crazy. All right, let's continue reading here. Quote, the IRS is first and foremost a law enforcement agency, and the Fourth Amendment protects against unreasonable searches and seizures in pursuit of looking for wrongdoing and criminal actions. So I think this is going to run into severe Fourth Amendment headwinds, Taxpayer Protection Alliance Vice President Patrick Hedger said. The Fourth Amendment of the Constitution reads, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. All right, so right there. There's no reason for them to just simply assume every single American isn't paying their taxes. Mm -hmm. There, you know, that 
if that was the case, th- it, that's what's going on here. Like, okay, well, if they think that somehow, and even if they are claiming that, there's no probable cause. They can't prove that. I mean, I, I like to pay my, I want to pay my taxes so that I complain. I, I can actually complain. If you don't pay your taxes, you're not part of society. You're kind of, you know, it's like I pay my taxes. So, and I vote. Because I vote and pay my taxes, I have every right to yell at every single politician and criticize them as I do, right? Because we uh, pay their bills. Exactly. We pay their paychecks. And you yes, know what, Adam, do. too? I think one of the biggest things that stuck out to me in regards to this article mm-hmm. was how the IRS wanted to monitor, again, if your money is going to crypto. Because the government has been trying um, to regulate crypto as much as possible because yep. they are not happy with the fact that people are getting off of their fiat currency, which is getting mm-hmm. more and more worthless by the day. Every single new stimulus check that was passed, you know, we just just printing trillions and trillions. And so people got smart and they said, okay, well, we're going to invest elsewhere. We're going to invest in crypto. The government mm-hmm. has been having a very hard time trying to monitor that. So that's what stuck out to me most here. And I feel like that in itself is like the biggest part of this story. I agree. And and that's why I kind of said it the way I did. I was like, and crypto, mm-hmm. hey, yo, yeah, because they want to regulate it. Because crypto, I, I've had um, a, a crypto expert on my show, uh, Breedlove. He's great. And essentially what crypto does It takes the power away from the central banks. This isn't just the government here, right? I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to get in trouble for even. (laughs) No, because we talked about it. I had a whole conversation about this with him, and it was fantastic because it it told me what crypto is. Mm -hmm. It's basically saying we don't need you to control the amount that our money is worth, and that's what they do. They and now they're pumping money. uh, Inflation's on the rise. I just read in a port uh, a report the other day that. The American GDP is supposedly dropped 41% this year. 41% drop in our GDP. Like, what? How is that not a bigger deal than it is? That's insane. And it, is it inflation? Is it the fact that we don't make anything anymore? We, we, we just give our money over to China? I mean, we, what, what do we make? What does America make? Corn? Soybeans? Um, nothing else comes to mind. Like, what? military equipment guns yeah our economy is really not looking good and again Mm -hmm. uh, i never thought about investing into gold or silver and the reason i got into crypto was because we were passing so many stimulus checks last year and i was like we are printing money at an unprecedented rate at this point and it is very crazy to me how the federal reserve has the ability to do this and you know if you look to all these other countries who have previously I guess, mirrored these same actions of Venezuela, a lot of these communist, you know, socialist countries, what ends up happening? Their money's piled up in the street and they're burning it because it's so worthless. Yep, exactly. And look at El Salvador, though. They're accepting Bitcoin as their national currency. You can buy and you can go to McDonald's. I saw someone actually posted. They asked like, I saw that too. You saw that? Can can I, uh, you know, pay with Bitcoin? And they gave him like a QR code Mm -hmm. and they, he paid with Bitcoin. And I was like, all right, that's dope. I mean, it's taken over and it's taken the power away. There's a lot of businesses away. in Miami as well that are starting to do that. So it's making really? its way here in America. Mm-hmm. Mm, Miami is starting to adopt Bitcoin as a legitimate currency over there too, where you can buy products with it. So it's it's on the up and up. I mean, look at how yep. much it's worth right now. I believe at the beginning of the year, it was worth, what, $13,000 and now it's sitting at forty five. It, I think it was at the beginning of 2020. It might have been that low. I don't think it's been 13 in a long time. Uh, it, but it went up to 60 and then dropped back down to 30. And now I think it's on the climb somewhere in the middle somewhere. Um, I have some crypto, but I like got it and I like forgot it. I'm just like going to leave it That's and not think, of, it. Not think it. about it. <laughs> I'm just going to let it let it sit somewhere, um, you know, in the inter interwebs because that's really what it's about. Um uh, but yeah, let's let's keep uh, let's keep reading about this uh, this craziness because this is them trying to uh, control it, control that, take the power back from crypto because the crypto is taking the power away from them. Uh, but here is what the Treasury said in response: uh, They said there is no reason for complaint uh, compliant taxpayers to be concerned, saying that the monitoring would simply help target those committing fraud. Okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, te- Treasury Department. No, 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 no. No, it's for your own good. 
When has that ever been an acceptable thing when you hear the government say that? It's for your own safety. How does yeah. that how does that quote go? Go ahead. Based, what were you say? based on the past two years, I would say not so good. I, I like how they're basically just mm. coming out and saying, we're just going to kind of treat everybody like a criminal. So that way, you know, the one or two criminals will be found out. But everyone's subjected to the same behavior. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Like, no, I'm just because I am a taxpayer and I pay my tax dollars doesn't mean I want you to have the ability to just to poke around in my my bank account. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, I, I don't want you to have that ability. That's that is government overreach beyond anything I've seen so far. I'm trying to find this uh, this picture that I posted the other day. And it is a comparison and it's an actual quote from Joe Biden. Oh, my gosh. Where is this thing? Jeez, I tweet so much. I got to chill out a little bit. <laughs> you do. I was scrolling through your Twitter today. It's, it was actually very informative. I had no idea that what 200,000 illegal immigrants crossed our border was it in the past month yep in the past oh month oh my gosh yeah go to go to adam's twi uh, twitter page guys it's very informative all right mm. you recognize these two gentlemen i hmm? do i do that looks like uh ben franklin and then joe biden hold on wait you got it all right so those who give up freedom for safety deserve neither classic quote something that i've heard a lot in my life mm -hmm. and now this is from joe biden last week this is not about your freedom this is for your safety oh uh, ah. hell hello he hello uh excuse me we know that's the classic ploy i don't need your protection joe biden i'm good i don't need anyone's protection i'm good on my own i can handle myself Right? I don't know if you've heard this quote either, Adam, but what is uh, it? and I can't remember who said it, but it basically goes, the man who gives up his freedom for safety deserves neither. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that. Yeah, I was like, mm, that's facts. That's that's from um, uh, that famous guy. He's, uh, you know, one of those really important uh, founding guys, right? Uh, one of them fathers? One yeah, of them yeah, founding yeah. Fathers? Maybe just one of the people who, you know, set the foundations for our country. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who knows? Who knows? But it's for your own good for us to be able to look into your bank account. But yeah, you know, compliant taxpayers, you, you don't need to be concerned. Like, no. But for the non-compliant taxpayers, this regime would encourage voluntary compliance as evaders realize that the risk of evasion being detected has risen noticeably. They literally call themselves a regime. Do you notice this? They actually said it. They're like this regime. Oh my gosh! But but Hedger, uh, this is the guy who is actually uh, on our side here, the tax taxpayers protection alliance vice president. Mm -hmm. uh, he warned that the policy could disproportionately injure poor people. You're going to push more folks into small cash transactions. You're going to push more banking offshore. Bank, yeah, exactly. The True. big fish out there uh, that do have sizable assets that are um, eligible for taxation offshore. This is the ultimate regression tax, he argued. You're going to end up punishing the worst off among us. The lower income folks in this country have historically been the targets of aggressive IRS audits because they don't have the CPAs and the lawyers to be able to fight back, Hedger says. I don't see why the need to be going after people you know just the average average joe and start stooping on a 600 dollars payment he said it doesn't make any sense these this is i mean i'm, I'm reading his quote here uh this is beyond trying to pick out low-hanging fruit i agree this you know, is someone else too adam sorry to mm -hmm. cut you off there no, no someone no. else pointed out too how coincidentally you know those stimulus checks happen to be 600 dollars as well Interesting. Right? So it's like, oh, yeah, you only have to have $600 in your mm. bank account. And also, here's a $600 stimulus check. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone all those, everyone spent that money. 
Agree, uh, agree. Right but I now. did think it was interesting. <laughs> I was like, hmm, maybe some people saved it and that was their in, you know, to really make mm -hmm. sure that they could monitor as many people as possible. So Candace Owens, she snaps. She's got a, she tweeted out, she said the Biden administration is attempting to empower the IRS to monitor every single withdrawal deposit transaction you make from your per personal banking accounts, PayPal, Venmo, etc. Well, she should have added crypto because that's actually rather important. Mm -hmm. Separately, he wants to force vax you. Everything they lied and said Trump was Biden is. Ooh. There it is right that, there. That right there, that line. Ooh, what did I just do? Oh, I went to her tweet. All right. Look at this. That right there. I mean, that's really the kicker. And that is so true. The, he, I've never seen such. He, he, he literally said. His patience is wearing thin with you, Americans. You know, Adam, I found a really? old gab that I put up a couple. Of I don't months care, back. Biden. I don't. I don't care that your mm -hmm. patience is running thin with me. Sorry, please continue. No, I was just saying that I had put mm. out a gab a couple months back that I just yeah. refound, and it basically said Joe Biden is everything that they said Donald Trump was—a racist, incoherent, incompetent. Yep. Sold out yep. by China, you know, yep. uh, making foreign deals with foreign countries. Like mm. literally every single thing yep. that they said Trump was guilty of is Joe Biden. Everything. Yeah, everything. It's kind of crazy. I, it's crazy. I, I mean, I just like I'm looking back at Trump and I'm like, how did they think any of these things were real? Like it didn't make any sense. The media is powerful. The media is powerful, and they're absolutely insane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. man so i mean the rest of this article is just a bunch of people that are just snapping on twitter and uh it it makes sense i mean people should be pissed off because once you give the government the ability to do something i mean they're not going to relinquish that power and it's only going to get one step worse in two years three or four years whatever it's like well you know now that we have that ability you know we should just be able to monitor all bank accounts now because People can go around it and have like a $600 max and then they just do small exchanges so that they can't actually see everything. And then they're like, well, because now people are getting around this, you know, now we're going to have to tax everyone and look at everyone's bank account. In fact, we just want 100% control over all of you. Did I just did I just crack the case? Yeah, you know, based off of the response mm -hmm. the past two years, I never would have thought we would have gotten to that conclusion. Just but <laughs> Adam, you, you know, you're always playing 40 chess. You're always 10 steps ahead. I see. I see. So thank you for cracking the case. That was there. all me. I did 100% of that. Of, round of applause in the chat for Adam, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> I did it, everybody. 